Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Welcome to Monk Monday, number 136. For those of you who are new here or don't know what this is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here, and I critique it, I review it, I go over it. You can you can give me anything. Twos, threes, RBGs, BG Blitz now, solo shuffle. You can also send me Mythic Plus. Raids, I've done everything. I've done raiding, Mythic Plus. I've done it all. So please send in your gameplay. I will critique it. I will put it up on Mondays. It is called Monk Monday. And with that said, today we have Crazy on the Mistweaver. Of course, I've also done Windwalker. So I'll do Mistweaver or Windwalker as well. Uh, I don't think so. No Brewmaster. Today we have Crazy who is doing some solo shuffle, it seems like. They say in the email, hey, Mystical, I have about six rounds of solo shuffle gameplay I'd like to review for you. Please be honest. Uh, as I'm trying to improve as much as possible. I will always be honest, but I won't be mean about it. I promise. <laughs> I promise. So we do have some solo shuffle, which is exciting. It looks like we have a Feral Druid, Affy Warlock with a Havoc Demon Hunter, Disc Priest, Armist Warrior. I see in the chat here, we're looking for Demon Hunter Warrior. The kill target, I would suggest, would be the Demon Hunter. Swap to the Warrior during Pain Suppression or Blur or darkness those are like the main things you i feel like a, a, a trap at like pretty much any mmr not just low mmr any mmr is to just tunnel down one target start to finish and just hopefully you can get a kill but you want to do a decent amount of swapping you don't need to be swapping every second but again during blur during pain suppression swap off wherever you're hitting and hit the secondary target even if it's just oh yeah get that medal of conquest we need that extra conquest that's beautiful looking at talents here it seems like let's see what we got uh this talent is good it's it's good uh dance of mist here is nice this is good uh, left hand side here good I'm not playing legend in there that's such sad days no i get it it's okay i think it's a fun talent though i do like this these are good i think one flex point is this one right here when you're playing song of chiji you could play this talent if you're playing ring of peace i actually don't i find myself not getting that much value out of it so i normally just put it into legend than air also we're playing i wouldn't play this talent the heal uh the healing from porting because in soul shuffle dampening starts so high or it, it ramps up so fast that you really don't get a lot of value out of this talent um after like the first minute but this one i would i would definitely keep so yeah these are probably two flex talents you could use maybe put one into the uh, the um healing from here or maybe chi this it could be good for chi wave just because if you're playing with a melee it's just pretty much just a passive mystic touch but talents are good I don't mind them. They're pretty solid. Yeah, we're playing against Demon Hunter Arms Warrior. So we definitely want Disarm. And I, we definitely don't need Zen Focus D. So I would just get Grapple Weapon. Beautiful. Good. Good. We're doing really good so far. Uh, the kill target that said is Warrior. I feel like... I don't know. I feel like it's kind of uh, not ideal. But we'll see. Okay. I like the aggressive gate in. No, I probably don't want to gate like that. But that's okay. Misclicks happen. Uh, leap of Fate there on the Warrior already from the Disc Priest. I guess if we're just going to hit the Warrior, I mean, your Feral is now Stormbolted LOS on the other side of the map, so I don't know I don't know what he's doing. But yeah, now we have to push in a little bit, which is kind of annoying. Keep your Nuring Mist going, good. We have our Hots going, good. We are pushed in just a little bit. It seems like we're like, don't know, it seems like we don't know where to stand. I would just stand like right here on this pillar. If the Feral overextends like he did at the start, push in a little bit, but don't I would probably say don't push on on these two pillars because your warlock I would be impressed if they did but I don't think your warlock's going to reset their port and port is like their main defensive so and especially against two melee so I would stay on this pillar right here with your warlock's port it's that's probably the most important thing as far as position goes when you're healing a warlock it's very important um we really need our Pharaoh not to overextend either, just because that is that's not good for positioning. But good, we have our Chi Harmony, we have our Envelope Mist out. That's parry from the Warrior, also no Trinket. So this is Avatar rolling. You could, is this Disarm midair? Beautiful, good, great Disarm here. No Trinket by the Warrior during Avatar after Blade Storm. Beautiful, shuts down the Warrior damage. And it looks like our Warlock, it's actually, the Pharaoh's the issue right now. That's, the Pharaoh is, is, okay. Needs to not over. You guys need to hit the same target. So, um, the, I think hopefully our warlock can fear. Hopefully the demon hunter. There's no fear DRs. I don't see unless you're not tracking DRs, but I feel like you are. This is a stun. 
Where's DR? Yeah, this is a DR right here. Yeah, there's no fear DR is going out. So we're hoping that the Warlock fears the, at least the Demon Hunter. I do see Soul Rot. I do see a UA going out. So he's probably going to start to swap his DOS onto people. But just keep that in mind. I Hopefully, okay. All right, this is good. Good Rob here. This If you Rob, it's nice. You don't have to. Good Cyclone on the Disc Priest there. I see a word dispelling, which is good. A Warlock's just lining it. It's okay. It's, a, it's fine. That's Gate from the Warlock too. Normally when my Warlock gates, I try to Rob so it makes the melee a little bit more... It makes it a little more difficult for the melee to get to you or the the warlock, but that's okay. Um, gonna go for an incap here. Let me just make sure it's always be careful when incapping with the UA with an affliction warlock. But yeah, there's no UAs. It would have been tragic if you um, if you incap the warrior because he has a UA. But this is good. No dr, no incap dr on the priest. This is perfect. Get trinket there. Beautiful incap there. That is really really good. Oh, hopefully our warlock can get a fear off. No, he gets kicked on the fear. Celestial conduit. Uh, have we used life? It's fine if we haven't used if we haven't used life cocoon yet. Uh, but this is fear. This is probably train cocoon. Yeah, this is fine then because we're gonna get the some value out of Yulon buff uh, now that we press life cocoon. Um, probably one thing I do notice is don't be afraid to just um port. Yeah, if your port is back here, I would rather use port than my cheat torpedoes just because cheat torpedoes I I need a little bit more to like get in caps and sweeps on on the healer so keep that in mind you could just port here because it's gonna get a little awkward because it seems like this this demon hunter starts to hit you and we're stacked right on top of our port the only way out of here would be to gate so maybe after this after this um damage maybe send the gate or something but the demon hunter is trying to kill you uh yeah don't, don't be afraid to port that's pretty important yeah good got no chi harmony is out warrior still dying maybe the warrior was the kill target maybe getting in cap off that clone would be ideal rally from the warrior if we get an incap off this clone, uh, Warlock's dying, it's fine. That's okay. We'll just hopefully win a little bit in dampening. Heal the pet up. Make sure you put Chi Harmony on the... Yeah, make sure you always keep that... Before you even start healing right now, make sure you put Chi Harmony up with Renewing Mist. Uh, that way, they get more healing. Good. Chi Harmony's up. <clears throat> Try to get... Yep, Yulon's good. Shadow Fury. Uh, hits the Demon Hunter, which is nice. Good. We have hots here. Perfect. We get stunned. Kill the warrior. No, that, that was a good round. No, that, that was that was a good round. No joke. That was uh, good in caps, good sweeps, good cooldown rotation. Mana was looking, what, 40%, 45% at the end of that? Uh, that was pretty good. Mana T was looking solid. I think everything in that round was looking good. Um, Maybe the warrior is just squishy or a little bit squishy compared to uh, the demon hunter. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not the demon hunter. Oh, no. Is he AFK? It's very unfortunate. Oh. Is he back? We use Life Cocoon on him. Is he back? Cola? He's back. All right. It always gets a little scary. I definitely want to hit the Warlock. You need to stop the dots uh, as much as possible. Uh, you're going to need to position uh, kind of the opposite of last round. You need to position on the Warlock's port on the other side of the map. So... I would try to push on their pillar just to help your melee. Right? It's Feral Demon Hunter. I would just, yeah, run at the Warlock. Warlock's almost off stun yard. Next, next uh, stun. Nice. Here's a full maim. What we're looking for is an in-cap sweep on the Priest right now. Um, That way we can get some pressure on the Warlock. I don't even think we cracked the uh, shield that he had. So that's a little unfortunate. Good kick on him. Stormbolt on you. No follow-up CC, which is nice. Um, but yeah, we're trying to look for, cause we're not worried about UA anymore, right? We're, we want to CC. All right, we run into the fear. Be careful versus Disc Priest because you never want to give them free fears ever. They really, they normally shouldn't be able to fear you unless it's like a really good setup. Ultimate Penance, not much we can do about that. And, uh, oh, we, one thing I do want to note is you probably will probably want to swap to normal revival versus Affliction Warlocks. There's only one stun, which is Stormbolt. I mean, you could get stunned by Shadow Fury, but there's only one, one stun, pretty much, that's Stormbolt, and they're probably going to use it on the kill target. So keep that in mind. Try to use normal revival or just revival versus Affliction Warlocks just so you can get the spells. You could dispel this UA if you walled, but I don't know if it's worth it. Life Cocoon on the Feral with Barkskin up is fine. I probably would agree to the Life Cocoon a little bit just because he has Survival Instincts and Barkskin. They're going to swap to your Demon Hunter now. He has Blur, Darkness, so that's good. Incap off the Sphere is amazing. Beautiful. Oh, Sweep, good. I don't know if we have Incap or not. Let me see. Do we have Incap? I don't see it anywhere. That's okay. Oh, no, it's right here. Okay, no, we don't. 
That's fine. Oh, we did encap the priest. Never mind. Never mind. I'm just uh, slightly blind. Good. Good healing here. Uh, mana wise, is it's a little tight, but I think if we just keep. Oh, oh Yulon. Let me see something real quick. Yeah, probably. Normally, Yulon is like the first button I will press in a round for any cooldown. So I see Yulon coming off cooldown now. I'd probably just start. I would probably press this immediately because the Chu cocoons are so good that I would probably just press it. Yeah, good. Hopefully, the envelope missed here. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, we actually recover here with Yulon. I'm pretty sure this is good. It's gonna cost mana, which is the issue, but we will be, <laughs> we'll be alive in the round. Stun on you. I guess he's storm ulting you, shockwave, and DPS, and then we're looking for another in cap on the priest. Oh man, that's a little unfortunate. That is pretty unfortunate. I don't know. The Pharaoh, we used darkness there. Bash just came off cooldown. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this was a winnable round if we just gas pedaled the Warlock a little bit a little bit more, but I would try to look for in-caps on the healer pretty much off cooldown, essentially. But maybe the warrior was able to shut shut your DPS down. I don't think so. I don't I don't think so. I think uh I think we had a real chance to win that round. Alright, let's see. We got we get health stones now, which is nice. We're playing against the warrior and the pharaoh. So obviously they're gonna go your warlock, obviously. So just keep that in mind. Set your port up near his port. Try to position when you play with a warlock, you want to position with that there wherever their port is. So this is good right here. This positioning between these two pillars. It's fine. I would probably stand right here this whole game. Because uh, that way when your Warlock ports, you can keep healing them. And it's kind of hard for them to CC you. Good sweep here. Stop any damage. Any setup. The Feral's already opening. Feared. Oh, I forgot that round. The I forgot that round the Demon Hunter was also AFK. So that round doesn't even count. <laughs> Port here. Not LOS. Yeah, that, that sucks. That happens to me sometimes too. Celestial Conduit is good. Good. This is fine. Yeah, good stuff here. Good healing. We're like gates, ports back. Beautiful. I would put a rock down here. So like right here. Oh, yo. Oh, yeah. That. <sighs> Been there, buddy. Been there. Yeah, I don't know why they don't. I don't know. They don't want to fix ROP or something. I don't know. It, it blows my mind. But yeah, this was a good ROP. I, normally when my Warlock gates, I'll ROP like right in front of it. Also, when a Warlock... Pour, um. What's it called? Soul burns, soul burn ports. They get a freedom. So what I'll do is I'll rop right where they port, so that obviously warriors can't leap or pharaohs can't leap or whatever. And then I'll also tigers lust the warlock because with that freedom they can't be slowed, they can't be rooted. So tigers lust gets good value on warlocks after the soul burn port, which it looks like they did. So pretty good little little tip there if you wanna wanna do that. Um, but the warlock kind of just runs back into them. I, if I was the Warlock, I'd probably put the port LOS and then probably hug the pillar a little bit more. So, so unfortunate. Feral, what does the Feral want? Feral wants you. Stormbolt on you into potentially a fear from the priest. No, okay, good. See, this is what I'm talking about right there. Priests, unless it's a really good setup and the priest is in position to get the fear, normally priests, holy, maybe, but normally disc priests won't be able to get a fear on you. So just always try to stay far away from the priest. Don't ever run into them for free fears. Otherwise, you're just giving them free crowd control that they wouldn't normally be able to get. Kick on the Feral there uh, on the Cyclone, which is good. I think we need to just keep doing what we're doing, but it just feels like the pressure is just a little bit rough. The Demon Hunter kind of needs to do a good amount of the damage. Feels like the It feels like, oh, oh, wow. Okay. I don't know what just happened to this guy. I was about to say, the Affliction Warlock, I feel like, is doing not a lot of damage. Um, he just dies. We have Wall. We probably have Port. We should probably maybe track Port, too. That's uh, that's like an important thing that I try to track with Warlocks. Oh, we also have Coil? Yeah, Coil heals. Yeah, we could Coil anything. I probably could have coiled that cyclone. I don't think this this round is kind of rough. I do say the positioning though is you never want to be stacked on top of them ever. So what I would have done in this situation is I would have been over here because this feral gets the feral the feral gets a free cyclone on you, right? 
and they get feared. Yeah, see, the the priest just uh, runs in. The priest just runs in. No one tries to stop him. We don't have Rop either, which is a little unfortunate. I probably would have tried to in-cap. I'm not going to lie. This priest trinkets to get the sphere on you. I probably would probably would have tried to in-cap or pour it away because, of, again, it's AoE fear. You never want priests to get the free AoE fear. So probably would have either... I probably would have ported. I would have ported the sphere if, if I could have because the priest is running in. And then I would have repositioned in like the middle of the map because it's too melee, right? It, th there's no casters. It's too melee. They're... If they need to, if they want to try to get to you, you could always pour it, you know. So I would I would say that just positioning wise, stacking up is is never ideal when you're a misweaver because it's so easy for people to CC you. And then I think this this guy just gets a free cyclone on you because I mean we're just stacked up, which is really unfortunate. And then I your warlock just dies with wall and coil. So a uh, little combination a combination of positioning here, because I think it was better off to just be over here, right over here. I wish your warlock. What, well, the issue is your warlock ports and then like runs towards the, the melee. What your warlock should do is port and then hug the pillar and then like come out over here. That way you can stay right over here and avoid all, all the melee and all the CC. So it's just a positioning thing. I think this round your warlock also died with cooldown. So there's not much we could say about that. It's it it. it I had a warlock the other day that was saving port for next expansion i i really don't know i I, re I don't know it's 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 always a warlock but it is what it is um but again the kill targets warlock it, it should the, the warlock should be going 06 100 percent the warlock against these three melee really i hate to say it just really shouldn't stand a chance i would probably play are we playing against feral here this is a feral right so yeah, this is feral. So got a stick. I'm like white on rice. I like that. Your talent should be Zen Focus T probably because you're the only caster on your team. So the only person that can be kicked is you. I mean, they could be. No, there's really nothing. There's nothing. So I would probably go re revival. Eminence is fine because ferals are scary, and there's a chance that they could go you right. Like there's a chance that they can kill you. And then I would probably I would play Zen Focus T. If you were feeling a little bit risky and you want to be a little bit more aggressive, slightly more aggressive, you could drop Eminence for Zen Spheres if you wanted to. I would definitely play Zen Focus T though. Zen Spheres is fine. Yeah, play it, baby. All right, all right. I don't mind it. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I think Eminence is pretty good to Ferals. I normally don't risk it because I normally don't risk not playing Eminence because. The trade-off is that they go you and tunnel you down into the dirt, right? So, and then you lose after like one or two goes. So I normally will, I'll, I'll always play it safe with Eminence. Um, but it looks like they, they're going to go your warrior, right? That's the strat been pretty much the entire time. What we're looking for here, we're looking for some kind of coordination between the stun on the warlock and CCing the priest. So it looks like a KS Nova is on the warlock and the feral just trinketed a Stormbolt. So we're, we, what we want is an in-cap sweep on the priest. And this is kind of your job. There's, you know, without comms, it's all just comes down to, you know, knowing what's, you know, evaluating the situation and just understanding that we're like stunned and you need to just having the game knowledge to know that it's up to you. You know, there's no, there's no comms. So you just have to pay attention have, and just hopefully, okay, okay, this is fine. This is fine. Okay. So this will like trinket, trinket, and then this was, is this priest undead? Because that was will. It has to be will, right? The priest has to be undead, I'm pretty sure. So no trinkets. You, I would I would go for an in-cap off of this stun, off of the fell eruption on the priest here. And I know it's going to be like awkward, but the warlock is off stun here in 19 seconds. So it's fine to just go for the in-cap because you should have in-cap relatively soon after that deer ends into a fear yeah if we could have gotten there for an in cap that would have been ideal i don't know how that feral just got a cyclone with both melee there but i guess they're probably kicking the warlock but yeah this is this is a free cyclone from the again this is positioning mostly you want to get you want to get to a pillar because right now this uh, this round is a little bit more different versus two than versus two melee because standing in the middle map versus two melee is okay especially if you're they're just hitting your caster but this is now a feral lock and with the cyclones and with the caster you the middle of the map is kind of 
rough. You want to get to a pillar. Because you're playing two melee and you're playing against a warlock, I would probably... You want to be a little more aggressive, especially versus a disc priest, because they're going to beat you in dampening. They're going to absolutely whoop you in dampening. It sucks, but they do too much damage, and their mana is actually really good. So you want to get to a pillar. You want to be the aggressor. That's your win condition. I don't think you can out damp you can out dampen a disc priest. So I would pick probably this pillar to kind of make your home. Or you could even do this pillar. Whichever one, whichever side of the map the Warlock port is on is where I would go. And then from there, heal your team. Try to be disruptive as possible. But the middle of the map, uh, especially giving them free Cyclones is rough. This is Avatar. The Warrior already parried. And there's kick. So that's why I definitely play Zen Focus T because you're you're literally like if you were playing with the Feral, I could see the argument where the Warlock's probably gonna try to kick a Cyclone, right? If you're playing with a Warlock, you know, it's fine. But you're not playing with any casters besides you. Like no one's casting anything besides you. So that's why I think Zen Focus T is good. Also, yeah, this is a little scary because we just this is a little scary. This is this is a little scary because they just you just use life cocoon and they just kicked you. Do you have a UA on you? You have no UAs on you, but you're starting to rot down a little bit. And this feral, he's looking at you. This feral's looking. He's like, man, that that Musquiver's. And they just cycle on your warrior. Okay, yeah, he's looking at you like you're a snack right now. I I think he's gonna try to swap to you. This is a mighty bash into bleeds on you. Really hope this warlock doesn't get any UAs on you, but this is a little rough. Um, we're also outranging our port right now, so be careful. We, we, we push to the other side of the map, which is fine, right? Like, this is what you need to do. You need to push onto the Warlock side of the map because when the Warlock ports, you want to be on him, right? You don't want to give this Warlock any time to breathe. But we, it's good. It's awkward now because we need to set up a port. We also have Restoral, so maybe we're not completely in danger. Okay, whoa, whoa, be careful, be careful. Oh, my God. Make me a little nervous right now. That was Revival. I would definitely set up a port on that pillar you were just at. Go for an in-cap here. Good Rop. Maybe a little in-cap here. This is a fear. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. I don't know when that happened. Um, I would still go for an in-cap though. Um, Warlocks off stun yard. No trinket. So I would definitely... Next stun, we're looking for an in-cap on the priest. Hopefully. This looks like... Yulon, good. Good. Yeah, I'd go for an in-cap on the priest here. ASAP. Good sweep. In-cap. Paints up on the Pharaoh. Swap to the war. Uh, we really shouldn't be in the Pharaoh, but okay. That's, that's, that's... I would probably swap back to the Warlock after, during Pact. It's fine. It's just paint suppressions up on the Pharaoh. Okay. Yep, the Warlock's free casting now. We're starting to... We're, we're crumbling. We're crumbling. Uh-oh. Yep. Mame on you. Mame on you isn't terrible. Mame on you is not good. I, I also don't see Zen Spheres going out. So just keep that in mind. We are playing Zen Spheres. So try to put one out on... Usually just put it on... A, if, you, if you're if having trouble put, keeping it on a teammate, just put it on yourself. And then put it on... I would just keep it on the Warlock. Healing. Nice, nice. We get Precog there. Good, 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 good. Free cast, free cast. Yep. No. Free cast. Okay. I would have just free cast it. We can still free cast now because the warlock has no kick. And the feral looks like it's too far away to kick you. So yeah, just free cast here. We're looking for manatee. We have 10 stacks of manatee, by the way. I would just send it. Stun on you. Sorry, uh, kick on you into a root, into a cyclone. So this is not ideal. We trinket that. That's fine. 11 stacks of manatee. Fear on you. Yeah, yeah. As soon as we swap, as, as the pressure was gone, as soon as we started hitting the Pharaoh instead of the Warlock. From your point of view, we have a we have a lot of a uh, lot of stacks of manatee. So we at about eight stacks. Normally at around five stacks is when I start channeling it. So I would, well, first of all, ultimate penance. Try not to stand and get hit by it, just because it is sadly quite a bit of damage for one button. But we also have a lot of manatee. I would say you want to, one, reset your port when you move around the map. Always, always, always reset your port when you move around the map. That way, you know, if people start to swap to you, you can, like, you could have avoided this. If you were playing Eminence, which I think you are, you could have avoided this Cyclone. Actually, I think the Warrior kicks it, or Demon Hunter kicks it, which is good. 
But yeah, I would also make sure during these situations where there's like a little bit of downtime, make sure you always channel your manatee, especially five or more stacks right before you start healing uh, is, is ideal. So nice. We got the precog here. This right here, by the way, is 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 pretty good. We stopped casting though. I During precog is like the only part of the game where you can actually play. So we stopped casting and then our warrior starts to fall behind. And then the good rop here on the dome. But yeah, we still have a lot of manatee. So I would just keep that in mind. And we get kicked here. But again, it's okay. This would have been okay. Like it wouldn't have been terrible if again we reset our port and kept it in range. Because I think this feral, I think there's a root on the demon hunter and the feral gets a cyclone. Yeah. And then we have to trinket it. Right. And then our life cocoon kind of just got absolutely crushed. Good stun here on the disc, but yeah, the, the main thing I'm seeing now is one, reset your port when you move around the map. It doesn't matter when, just always reset it. Uh, two, use your manatee stacks at like, f usually around five or six stacks is normally when to do it, but you could use it when you're kicked or if you're just like moving around, just like press manatee. And then we're also not in capping and like, for Mistweaver, Mistweavers are the, a more defensive healer. But because dampening ramps up so fast, we have to be the aggressors because we're not going to win on mana. And we're not going to win because we don't really have a whole lot of damage. So we need to be the aggressors in most matchups. So you need to go for those incaps. Whenever you see a stun on the kill target, you know, you see a stun on the warlock, incap, sweep the priest, or at least incap them, something. Just extend the CC chain a little bit longer. Try to force trinkets and cooldowns off of the enemies. But this, this game was a combination of just... Not resetting our port, but also we, man, we, all pressure was gone as soon as <laughs> you stopped, our team stopped hitting the, the Warlock. As soon as the Warlock can start free casting, they're just going to start cranking damage, which is a little unfortunate because I think that round was going pretty well. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's see talent wise. What are we playing against? Warlock, Demon Hunter. So... Oh, and then, yeah, drop Zen Spheres. I would just play Zen Focus T. Uh, Zen Focus T, position far away, right? Don't don't get close to the, the Demon Hunter, right? And then just Zen Focus T whenever you're falling behind is what I would do. Good, yeah, ignore Revival as well. Yep, that's ideal. Zen Focus T as well. I would pop, I would definitely play Zen Focus T. You could drop, you know what? You could drop Eminence for it too. Because again, there's only two, there's Fell Eruption and Chaos Nova. They're not, they're probably going to, Fell eruption you, but that's a very short stun. So uh, you could drop eminence, play Zen Focus T. I don't know. Zen Spheres is it works too. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Get our hot I think by the way, I think healing mice are doing great. Like we're sur we're surviving long enough where we hopefully should we're we're just we're right there to getting kills. We're like right there. But it's just like an extra, we need an extra 30 to 40 more seconds. And that's where avoiding CC and positioning. So it's really hard for them to CC you or CCing the healer. So that they don't have cooldowns later in the match. Uh, that's where it kind of counts. So I think you're doing great healing wise. Nice drop on this. Uh, I think that was swap from the pre, that looked like, was that not swap? It looked, that looked like it. So that's pretty good. That's a good cooldown. But, um. Oh, I, are we healing? We're hitting different targets right now. Unless our feral is just getting cyclones. Yeah, we should definitely be hitting warlock. Warlock gets precog there. We get a nice little Nyuzu proc. This is great. Cyclone on the priest. That's triggered from the priest. We're looking for an in-cap. In-cap sweep. Yes. Yeah, beautiful. Do we sweep off? No sweep. That's okay. But that's that's exactly what I was literally just talking about. Your role as the Mistweaver, of, of course, outside of obviously healing is to just extend the CC chains. If your warrior gets a fear on the disc priest in cap sweep, it doesn't matter if you have one or the other in cap or sweep or both. If your Pharaoh gets a cyclone on the priest in cap sweep after that, if your warrior storm bolts, the priest just in cap and then sweep the kill target, you know, your role is to outside of keep your team alive is to extend those crowd controls, uh, chains with in cap. That's, that's kind of what I see it as when I'm doing solo shuffle. Um, Meme on the so it, it's a little unfortunate that we just use all of our CC because it would have been good if it, we did that during the meme. But you can't control when DPS get CC on, on the healer. So meme here on the on the warlock is good. Right now our positioning is a slightly awkward just because we're not at a pillar. 
We're kind of stuck in the middle of the map right now. I see our little poor little port is all the way over there. Again, we're playing double melee versus a warlock. You want to play on top of the warlock port. That way, when the warlock ports, they don't really go anywhere, right? Because you're able to connect so quickly. So try to get to a pillar. I think it's a little too aggressive to play on this pillar, but I would probably play on this pillar. But since our team is right here, you want to play on the warlock's pillar. You're at When it comes to positioning, by the way, I would say about... 60% of it is on you to position correctly, but maybe maybe 70%, maybe 75. 75% of it is positioning is on you to position, position correctly, but 25% is you're at the mercy of your DPS, right? If your DPS are on this side of the, the pillar, I mean, you could even play on this pillar if you wanted to um, until the Warlock pops out and then they overextend, but you're at the mercy of if your DPS want to stay on the correct side of pillars or <laughs> if they don't want to LOS you. So uh, half fear on you from the priest is fine. Life cocoon on the feral is fine. We do have survival instincts, but good life cocoon here because the warlocks do us parry. Kick on you. Again, That's I feel like Zen Focus T is, is probably the better option, but that's okay. Uh, that looked like revival. So that is quite a bit of cooldowns we just used. That, that was a lot. I don't think we need to revival here. We get kicked. By the way, while you're kicked, you can use manatee. So just remember that. I probably wouldn't have revivaled here because the warrior parried. Life cocoon puts the pharaoh at nearly 100% health. So I didn't see. Were there many dots out? I didn't see. There's. Uh, I don't see. No UAs on the pharaoh. No UAs on the on the arms warrior. That that's not good. That is not good. That was probably our only use of revival this whole game. So. Um, I would probably just, especially since the Warlock just used Kick, right? So the Warlock used Kick, probably didn't need to have, have to Revival, right? So we just free cast and heal. Yeah, just plant your feet and heal. Yeah, good, 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 great. You get your heal, you get your Renewing Mist out. Good, good. Envelope Mist. Yeah, Warlock has Kick now. Trying to go for an cap here. It's, uh, that was dark. Yeah, if we can get a sweep on the Warlock. Yes, good. That's exactly... That's exactly what I'm talking about. That that is literally exactly what I'm talking about. These little CC, these little in caps off the cyclone there, extending that crowd control chain. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Beautiful bash on the warlock, in cap on the priest. That cross CC is what we're looking for, and that's what's going to get you kills. I mean, it, you don't have to overthink it in in solo shuffle because dampening ramps up so high. Actually, it's only 25 percent dampening now, but dampening ramps up so fast that you know two minutes, two and a half minutes into the game. An in cap can make or break the game, right? If you get an in cap off of a stun, you can just make or break the game. At the very least, you're looking for a trinket or cooldowns. So good, good. This is exactly what I was talking about in the other round. Extending those those crowd control chains with in cap, especially if the kill target is stunned, is so good. It's so good. So I think we're doing a pretty good job right now. I think we're doing well. What do we got? We got Warlock Warrior versus Feral Demon Hunter. There's no secrets here. They're gonna be hitting your warlock all game. Now this is double caster, or sorry, this is double melee. Don't need Zen Focus T. Eminence Zen Sphere is fine. Zen Sphere is fine. Just make sure you put it on your warlock. I don't think this priest is gonna be spam purging, so just keep it on your warlock at all times. But the biggest thing is just position far away. Do you do not want to be stacked up with these two melee and a priest. You don't want it. It's free stuns on you. They have Chaos Nova, Psychic Scream, Cyclones, Bash, Roots, Slows, Vortex. It's it's a nightmare. So just keep that in mind. You also, damage wise, Demon Hunter and Feral Druid both have insane like spread cleave. So you really don't want to give them any free damage that you need to heal through. You're gonna have to heal through it. Good sweep here. We get Trinket, Trinket, both Trinkets. So this is this is looking good. This is this is I'm, we're liking this. This is fantastic. Okay, uh, that's Shockwave, Tiger's Fury from the Pharaoh. Good port here from the Warlock. That looked like the Warlock walled. I think the Warlock has PTSD. Please, ice. Oh my sweet baby Jesus! What happened there? So the war. Oh man, life cocoon parry. Damn, a second too late. I don't know. Usually a rule of thumb that I have is if someone's low. And I'm not in crowd control. I'll just send the cooldown. So the warlock or the warrior was in a full maim. I would have probably just would life cocooned right now. Like a second or two earlier. Just to prevent. I, I normally life cocoon early just to prevent any overlap. But that overlap's pretty rough. The good thing is that I think they're just going to go your warlock. But your warlock also, <laughs> also walled there. Because I think they have PTSD from getting one shot before. Or getting absolutely ruined. So keep that in mind. 
Uh, we're just cutting the priest right now. Uh, we could just in cap. Good, good, good curse here on, on the disc priest, which is nice. Warlock, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I was about to say Warlock uh, pours out range you, but we're doing, we did a good job of uh, going back. In cap, it's that, so that's like the one situation where it's awkward because uh, mortar coil DRs with in cap. So you could in cap off the coil, but the duration isn't long enough where I think it'll matter. That's like the one thing it sucks. Pain suppression on the feral, so we want to swap to the demon hunter. Uh, hopefully we port beautiful. Yes. Yes. That's exactly that's it too. avoiding the fear We're playing eminence. So and we're finally in range of our port. So Really really good. You can even port back flame a little bit juke him out He's not going for it. Or the priest is a little feeling a little shamed good job putting his end sphere on the warlock too. that that extra healing is gonna is, is pretty massive And the warlock ports los good Heal your warrior make sure you put a hot up on the warlock too though and we also, excuse me, we also have manatee. We have 11 stacks of manatee. We want to weave in your manatee a, a little bit more because mana is a little tight. We want, we have 12 stacks of it too. Uh, cocoon on the warlock is fair on that meme. Uh, during life cocoon is normally when I go for like drink my manatee because, you know, it gives teams need to process that they need to swap. Um, and usually you have a second or two of like um, being able to do that. It's kind of awkward that they're stacked on top of you or like really close to you, but uh, this is Yulon warriors right there. Okay. Okay, that's fine. War uh, the Pharaoh's looking for a cyclone on you, by the way. Be careful. LOS, that's good. Good. Rop, not not terrible. Good. I think we need to get an in-cap on the priest. Good, good conduit here. Uh, we don't have Rop. Good healing. Fear on you. Trinket. From us. Warrior died. That's Perry. Oh my god. That's so unfortunate, man. Damn. That it, honestly, that one round. Um the feral this the issue is it was a 6-0 for the feral, and I think the one round you lost, it was the demon hunter was AFK at the start. Yeah, that sucks, man. Honestly. That's just what shuffle is. Usually my experience is either he, uh, DPS go 6-0 or DPS goes 6 and you're just going 3-3. So really sucks that the Demon Hunter had to AFK at the start of this round because the Feral was going 6-0. Um, as far as you go, I think you did a great job. Good job healing. I think the healing rotation is, is pretty solid. You were able to keep your team alive long enough where you should have gotten kills. Um, when you move around the map, make sure you reposition your port. At all times, you know, even your statue, get used to statue port, always just move it around the map. That way it's positioned correctly. Make sure versus warlock teams, or if you're the only caster on your team, right? You're playing with two melee. I would always go for Zen focus. See if you're playing against warlocks or mages, because there's no one else for them to kick, you know, and even if they're not consistent, most of the time they'll get at least one interrupt. And then that, that brings me, if you get, if you do get interrupted, it's okay. Uh, because you need to use your mana to a little bit more just a little bit more we're at 11 stacks at the end of this game and i know this didn't come down to mana i i i know that this didn't come down to mana at all but it still matters in uh, you know if you're trying to improve mana should be you want mana to be like one of the least amount of your warriors so if you get kicked if you're repositioning around the map if your warlock ports and has a second of breathing room just try to go for even if you're just doing three to four stacks at a time i would still do it um but yes again you could use while kicked so if you ever get kicked or anything like that i would also use minity and then there's one more thing i'm trying to think yes okay really good work um right at the end of i think it was this game right here the in cap off the cyclone gets the game winning in cap beautiful beautiful work here that's exactly what you're trying to that is like your goal as miss weaver in shuffle you're trying to keep your team long alive long enough so it gets a little bit later into dampening. And then you're trying to get in caps off of CC. Any CC, as long as the kill target is stunned, is normally what I do. So I try to just pay attention to who's the kill target. Obviously, it's the Warlock this game. And when they get stunned with your team, whether Mighty Bash, Rake Stun, Stormbolt, Shockwave, any kind of stun on the kill target, go for an in cap sweep on the healer at all times. That's that's normally what I try to do. And then Hopefully you kind of wear them down, you know, they use their trink or they use a cooldown and then the next time that happens You have an in-cap for the next go for the next time and you just keep that and you have in-cap sweep So you do keep doing that over and over and over again And hopefully you just wear them down get enough cooldowns where they kind of run out and then you can get a kill but solid games very unfortunate because this was 
feral. This was a feral 6-0. It was a feral 6-0 or Warlock 06. And sadly, the Demon Hunter went <laughs> AFK during the round you were supposed to win. So that does suck. Um, but over, overall, really solid games. Um, MMR is low. I, you'd probably be higher if it wasn't for the MMR being deflated. So I would stick with it. These are solid. Seriously. Uh, oh, oh, one last thing. Uh, positioning. Positioning is really important on Mistweaver. It is probably the most important thing about Mistweaver. So when you just need to practice probably, but your positioning kind of changes depending on the situation. So when you're playing with a Warlock, you want to position on their port. Not on it, but like it, you always want to be in line of the Warlock's port at all times because when they port, you can see, still keep channeling your Soothing Mist and still keep healing. So don't try to position close to them. When you're playing with two melee and you're playing against the caster, you want to push up into the caster. You you never want the Warlock to have a lot of map room. You don't want your the Warlock to have full reign of the whole map. You want to you want to like push the, the caster to like a corner. And that corner is the pillar that they put their port on if it's a Warlock. So if you're playing with two melee, try to push up onto the pillar obviously reposition your port and and uh, in your statue and all that but try to help and, and like enable your melee to push up into the other team with their ranged and then play on top of their pillars so when they port there isn't much yeah m much room for them to go even when they do port and that is it those are all the critiques i have really good games work on that and yeah you're you're gonna be fine healing was great so that's it for me if you have any questions at all please let me know i am more than happy to answer any questions and that's it for me. Hope everyone's a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.